Welcome to the third and final chapter of Beanie Bambini's The Lady at the End of the Street. Carrot, watermelon, pumpkin, do you remember what happened at the end of the last part? Right, our three friends were worried that a bad candy curse would ruin their Halloween. So what were they going to do next? Go and see a witch, of course. What could possibly go wrong? Let's not wait any longer. It's time to find out. There were no lights on at the house at the end of the street. It's all dark. Three friends stood by the gate and were certain that only a witch could live here. There was a big gnarled tree with a creaky swing in the front garden. And the garden itself looked like it hadn't been watered in a few days. The flowers were all sad and floppy. Three friends started towards the door. They had to be brave to break the bad candy curse. They got to the steps. It was very dark. They proceeded slowly and quietly. So quietly that they could hear a strange sound coming from inside. It sounded like sorry. Was the witch crying? As the friends continued up the stairs, they wondered why a witch would be crying, but they only wondered for a moment. Because in the darkness of the porch, they didn't see a flower pot on the edge of the step. One of the friends knocked it, and it fell, smashing into pieces. The three friends froze. From inside the house came a wail. Where are you? Where are you? Oh no! The three friends had broken the witch's flower pot, and now she was after them. They dropped their candy bags and ran as fast as they could. They had to get away from the terrible place. They ran and they ran, not looking where they were going. Finally, when they could run no more, they stopped and they looked around. There were lots of trees and bushes. They were in the forest. They had broken all three of their parents' rules that night. They were lost, scared, and candyless. What else could go wrong? Suddenly, they heard a twig snap and heavy footsteps coming towards them. The three friends trembled in fear. Hello? They heard a voice and they looked up. There was a man there. The three friends came clean about everything, that they got bad luck after coming across a black cat, that they had gone to the lady at the end of the street, the witch that lived there, and they broke her flower pot. And then they ran into the forest. The man chuckled and explained that he was the witch's grandson. <gasps> but the witch wasn't really a witch. The way that she helped people fix their problems wasn't with magic, it was by talking to them. And the reason that she was crying was that her cat had gone missing a few days earlier and the man was here to help her find it. That's why she cried, where are you? The three friends now understood. They felt a bit silly, but promised to help the man find the cat. They took him back there, and luckily, the cat was still there. They rescued it and took it back to the old lady at her house at the end of the street. She was overjoyed to see her darling kitty home. The three friends got their candy bags back and the promise of a big chocolate cake that the lady would bake. The three friends were happy to be heading home with their candy. Halloween on their own for the first time had been a big success. Well, maybe it had also been a little bit too scary. Next time, they would follow their parents' rules more carefully. Well, all's well that ends well. Right, Parrot? I'm so glad the old lady found her cat. I know I'd be so lost without mine. Wizard Watermelon, are you okay? You look a little pale there. Not too scared, I hope. Okay! That was our spooky Halloween tale, The Lady at the End of the Street. I'd love to hear about any of your trick-or-treat tales in the comments. We here at Beanie Bambini wish you the happiest of Halloweens. Stay safe. And let's all wish everyone a happy Halloween. You ready, guys? Ready? One, two, three. Happy Halloween! Bye!